There are many Rastafari, or others who are not Rastafari, link Bible with slavery. Because they gave us the Bible on one hand and the sword in the other hand. And when you look on the Bible, it's been twisted in the sense that they use Bible to justify slavery, to the curse of Ham, and all kind of things like that. There are many Rastafari would say, burn the Bible, away with it. That's King's inversion, because a version. So ones and ones don't like versions. So when you look on all that, it is good in it, you know. It is bad in it also. But it's magic to say, read the Bible and find the truth for yourselves. So when you find your truth in the Bible, you can come to your own conclusion. Because the Bible itself is in a historical book of Africa. It's in the Bible we know about Garden of Eden. We know about Ethiopia. So if the Bible teaches about Ethiopia and the great kings of Africa, why should we despise the Bible and put it one side and burn it? So what will be our point of reference otherwise than that? As, as, as the Earl Rastafari taught us. So in that sense, yes, I read the Bible and I find it true for myself. And that is my conclusion. Yeah, Rastafari. Should black people turn to the Bible as a vehicle for salvation when it has been a key weapon in the oppression of Africans and their descendants? That's a very good question. Black people on a whole have been Christianized in good and bad ways. In good and bad ways in the sense of Christianity as spoken by Jesus the Christ and administered by Jesus the Christ is good because he rose up against oppression, he rose up against those who were in the church, he rose up against many people, especially Rome. So Bible is a revolutionary book. Not a gentle Jesus, meek and mild attitude or, 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 or you die and go to heaven and be baptized and be, make your sin be white as snow. We don't enter them things there. The Bible is very practical. The Bible is a human, humanitarian book that covers all ages. But then again, you're looking at 16 crucified saviors, you're looking at different, different Bibles. So you're looking at having born in an English or European society. We have that, but if we were born in other societies, we would not use the King James Version or the English Bible. We would look into other things. So when you look on what the Bible has shown us and what, how people use the Bible and how they interpret the Bible, because it is more the interpretation of the Bible, more than, you know, you look on the Bible in a different way. Because everyone reads the Bible, but how they interpret it means a lot. So when you're looking on virgin birth and immaculate conception. Those things you question. When you're looking at uh, 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 Adam and Eve's story, you question it. There are many things that you question. But then, when you look at then the story of Egypt, and you're looking at the pharaohs, and the ancient monuments, and, 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 and the Giza Plateau, and you're looking at what is written in hieroglyphics, and, and, and the stone temples, many things you question. Because they said that there was, there was not any flood. It, 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 you see, so we're looking at the, 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 what you would say, no one the great flood. We're looking at the Ark of the Covenant, which is in Ethiopia. So many things you can be a reference to a land. Many things you can be a reference to a people. But the Bible today is like, you get in a burial spot. You go into church and pretty close on God and the Jesus business. The SS Jesus of, of Rubek, the slave ship, you're waiting until Jesus come. So we have to change, we have to look on the Bible critically and see how it is being taught to us. And know that we're not going to wait here until no Jesus come. And there's no, no gentle Jesus, meek and mild. We're looking at the conquering land of the tribe of Judah, which is still in the Bible. The divine personality of Isaiah Selassie. You're looking at the God in flesh, the God in man. You're looking at what the Bible has taught us that we would like to share. So, the Bible in itself, you know, is a book. But the Bible is a war book also because the Bible of weaponry. When you look at angels, angels have wings and angels always have a sword. And when you're looking at the war in heaven where Lucifer was cast down to torment earth, you wonder why Lucifer was here. Why he didn't go somewhere else. When you're looking at 
Enoch, you know, Enoch went to the seven heavens. So there are many, many things which is not written in the Bible. When you're looking at the Nicene Council, how, 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 how that was changed with Pope Constantine, many, many things we need to look on, not on the surface, not, on, not like how the minister teach you in church. You need to have secular knowledge and balance yourself. But the Bible is a practical book, I agree. But it's how you apply the teachings of the Bible that is very important. If thanks. Thank you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, share.